I didn't know two years later that the sponsors and, and the network were trying to get rid of me because the show wasn't being shown in the South. Uh, they had blacked it out, no pun intended. And uh, naturally they wanted it to be a nationwide show. And so they would come to him every week with a different scenario. Well, maybe if you would put her in her own thing and then we could, like they did lean in the movies, we, you, they were able to cut her out in the South and Mitch said, no. And then they would come up, well, okay. So do the sing-along men have to touch her? Because we did some great numbers together. And he said, we're a family. And they kept saying this. And finally he said, if it's no me, it's no show. And I had not been aware of any of this until years later when the show was, was over. And, you know, a lot of people would have come, you know, well, Mitchell's so square. I said, you do not have to say anything negative about him to me ever. Because... He loved the show. He'd been trying to get it done for four years. So he, he took a chance saying to the network, no. Mm -hmm. And if, what, you know what happened? The South was so nosy that they had to find out about how fabulous this show was. And then the show was being shown in the South and some of my best mail came from the South. As a, a kid, uh, there weren't a lot of uh, young black kids that got an op opportunity to be on television, and so therefore there were times where, you know, you don't you go around the, the back way, not come in the, the front way, you know, that kind of thing. Um, in fact, when I did the Beulah show, they wanted me to wear my hair and pick in any braids. And my mother <laughs> was like, what? And Ethel Waters said, you see how her mother has her hair? That's how she's gonna be wearing her hair. You know, so um, it was still, you know, a lot of uh, prejudice going on. And also remember that Nat King Cole had a show. It was a fabulous show. He had some of the top people that were guest stars in the show, and he couldn't get a sponsor. And so when I did Sing Along with Mitch, it was the first time nationally that you were seeing, uh, you know, an African-American woman on every week in, in a singing situation and so uh, that was quite a step but sure when I first started out absolutely I realized I was breaking barriers absolutely um, the, the funniest thing about it though is that in the black community uh, whenever one of us was on we you know oh my god quick turn on the television and so with me being on Mitch every day it gave uh, my people a chance to see somebody that looked like them because back then, there wasn't even commercials that, that you could see us in. So uh, absolutely, I realized I was breaking barriers. But it, you know what? I'm always, I've always been the kind of person that, uh, because I think my father instilled in me is like, hello world, here I am, and aren't you lucky that I'm in the world? <laughs> so I, I, I didn't get intimidated.